Welcome back, everybody, to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty here in Season 13. We have another big one this week. The schedule is full of them. Kalispell host number 20 Auburn here in Week 4. Week 5, I guess. Game 4, though. Both teams enter at 2-1 on the season, and Kalispell's coming off an exciting win against Penn State. They were challenged and showed they were ready, recording a big second win on the season. We're seeing a lot of great play this year from Jim Jackson. We'll be counting on him a lot more going forward. We also had some key plays from Sean Merville. Kalispell was resilient. And now today, they put their winning streak on the line. 27 straight wins in this building. And now it's time for their first SEC challenge of the year. The Auburn Tigers have come to Kalispell, and they will start today with the football. Boom! Brandon Hammond sends us off. And back deep, Demarcus Brown for Auburn. Cutting his way between the hashes and stopped after crossing the 20. Here is the senior, Derek Gant, coming off a three-touchdown performance, 347 yards. And his number one receiver, Amari Jennings, is having quite the start to the year. They open with play action. Gant outside, finds Perry, gets a block, and he's across midfield. An opening play of 34 yards to get the Tigers going. This play will be at the 45 of Kalispell. Play fake again, this time Cook battling, but shoved out of bounds by Jermaine Kent. Kalispell with their typical single high safety look, and here's the first run. It's Kevin Green carrying a gain of six. Kalispell trying to pick up the stop. Press coverage, third and one. Gant sees nothing, takes off with it. In the open field, inside the 20, and finally stopped after a 24-yard scramble. Gant has very good speed, we saw it there. Keeping now on first down, Gant to the end zone. Auburn caps off an opening drive score. How about that start for the Tigers? Big plays down the field, they lead 7-0. Here is the Kalispell offense for the first time, wearing the green uniforms today. Quick pressure on Irvin, lost the football, but Josh Schmidt picks it up, and they avoid allowing Auburn to put more points on the board. They get the unblocked blitzer, Irvin almost makes something out of it, but there's just even more pressure to deal with. Just like that, it's a second and 21. And here's the screen for Merville. It worked wonders a week ago, but not so much on this try. Third and 23. Irvin at his own five. Hit again as he floats outside. Here's Vincent, and he's gonna come close, but he stopped after a 21-yard reception. Fantastic opening for Auburn. The offense looked impressive. They get the quick three and out. Derek Gant scans the field, doesn't like what he sees, there he goes again, across the 50, 17 more. We saw this a week ago, Kalispell had trouble containing Zach Walker, early struggles here against Gant. Thankfully a good stop here on Kevin Green, tackled by Matt Armstrong. Elliott Red down near the line, trying to dial up some pressure. Auburn has the screen ready, and Green picks up a block. He picks up the first down with ease, a gain of 23. That was the perfect play call for that blitz Kalispell sent. This time they hand it to Green. He finds the hole, picks up the first again. Auburn back to the red zone, trying to go up two scores in the first. Gant second down, hands to Hogan. There's a good play from Anthony Payne. Over the years, we've come used to great red zone defense. Kalispell could use a play here. Third and 13 for Derek Gant. Pressure, he fires and is nearly intercepted by Jermaine Kent. Fourth down. 10 nothing Auburn taking advantage of their opportunities. Up two scores as Kalispell runs just their fourth play, a one-yarder for Jim Jackson. Three receivers on the field, pressure is sent. There's the quick throw as Irvin finds Drake Maddox. That's only his fifth reception on the year. Two tight ends on the field on third and two. And to the outside, there's Jackson. He gets the first down, but not much more. Jackson enters with an impressive 5.6 yard per carry. 
Rolling out now, Irvin in some trouble, he throws this away and in comes the flag immediately. No one in the area, he was in the tackle box, easy intentional grounding. And for the second drive in a row now, Kalispell finds themselves in a deep hole, but will get some good yardage here, it's Lindsay on the catch, gain of 15. They could use another big play here. Four receivers, third and 11. Irvin from the pocket, nearly intercepted, trying to force it over the middle. Auburn has opened the game with two scores and two stops, and they're set to get this back again. Here's the punt from Greer. Fair catch signaled, and the loose football's picked up by Kalispell. It hit off of Demarcus Brown, and Kalispell catches a huge break. They were even lucky to get the football. Auburn had the best chance to recover, but now suddenly a short field given to Kalispell. They will run inside. That's Jim Jackson, gain of five. Maddox in the slot, it's third down. Irvin pressured again, throwing short, it's incomplete. Dropped by Sean Merville, who was so good catching the ball a week ago. Kalispell does capitalize off of the Auburn mistake to make it a seven point game, but here's Gant again. Gets a block on Red, still going. Red eventually catches him, but the damage is done off of another big Derek Gant run. Again in Kalispell territory. This time they're ready for it. Gant is sandwiched by two defenders. Not quite in field goal range at this spot. Third and 10. Setting up the screen for Kevin Green. He wants to go outside and is wrapped up in the open field by Ronnie Howard. That's a big tackle. And Kalispell will get the football back. Down seven, sweeping outside. Jackson, not much. Gain of two. Slow start overall for the Kalispell offense. Now with two receivers to the right. Irvin pressured again. He throws and is intercepted. Pollard jumps in and Auburn takes over inside the 10. When you can overwhelm this offensive line, there are plays to be made. Irvin panics under pressure. Auburn gets the immediate scoring chance already up seven. Here's Gant. Shove now trying to bounce it. Breaks out the stiff arm and gets one. Here's that red zone defensive Kalispell trying to come through again. Third down, here's the screen for Green and there's no one to help him. He stopped for no gain. There's that red zone defense again. 13-3. But there's a lot to be concerned about here early on for Kalispell. They'll try Jackson again. He gets six. But they are really losing this battle up front. Jackson out, here's Merville, nowhere for him, stopped almost immediately. Here's another key third down for Kalispell, can they get three? Against the pressure, complete to Phoenix Chambers, and the freshman has a gain of six. Chambers has been the most productive pass catcher for Kalispell to start the year. Dumped off now, and they're ready for Merville, no gain on this one, or maybe a yard. Merville perhaps getting some more snaps after a big second half a week ago. Third and ten, pocket collapsing around Luke Irvin. He's taken down by Edward Young. Kalispell's line is not holding up in pass protection. Another punt. Here's Demarcus Brown. He had more trouble with this one, but falls on it. Auburn keeps the football. Up by ten, four and a half to play here in the first half. Derek Gant, plenty of time with aiding coverage, and he finds Green, breaks a tackle, and gets inside the 40 of Kalispell. It's a gain of 27. Big plays continue to fuel the Auburn offense. Outside now, Kevin Green to the 25, and stopped by Jermaine Kent. 33 yards rushing now for Green as Auburn is right back in the red zone. Draw play, Gant wants to break outside and spins ahead. Gain of five. The Warhawks have forced two straight field goals in the red zone. Gant keeping on third down. He's hit right at the sticks, but he gets it. First down, Auburn. Gant now with 98 yards rushing. Here's a sweep. Green inside the 10. Stopped after a nine yard pickup. Here's another chance for Kalispell. Third and one from the six. 
Gant keeps again. Picks up the first as Armstrong stops him at the four. 100 plus here in the first half for Gant. He keeps again. Outside of Walker, he's in for the touchdown. And Auburn pulls ahead. Now three scores up. Stunning this Kalispell crowd here in the first half. Kalispell is just missing answers once again. It's their third time this year. They've really started poorly, and they're not looking very competitive. Dehonte Jeffries will take this out of the end zone. Looking toward that left sideline. He's got some speed. Jeffries in the clear. Kalispell with the touchdown. 107. There's the freshman, Dehonte Jeffries, and that's his second kick return for a touchdown. And what a time for it to happen. Kalispell cuts it to 10 points. But that does put this impressive Auburn offense right back on the field. And they'll pick up four here with Kevin Green. Still two minutes for this Auburn offense to work. Third down, Gant again, no answer for him. Up to the 50, 17 yards. What is Kalispell going to do? They're approaching 300 yards allowed to quarterbacks in the last two games. Now a wide open throw for Gant as he finds Jamal Green. That's a gain of seven. This defense just scrambling to get in position and get prepared as Gant takes off again. Picks up the first. Gain of six. One of his shorter runs, but still moves the chains. Only rushing three. Gant with a strike. It's Harrington. Out of bounds at the 26. First down, Tigers. 51 seconds to go. Still one timeout for Auburn. Green carries. Another first down as Auburn has their fifth red zone trip. Two touchdowns, two field goals. What is it this time? With time through the hands of Sanders and incomplete. You know Kalispell's going to drop coverage into the end zone. They only bring three, getting nowhere near Derek Gant. He'll fire, and it's incomplete! Kent was there to help jar it free, plus the receiver was out of bounds. That's three more on the board for Auburn, and there's little time for Kalispell to respond. But we already saw Jeffries go 107. Here he is again. Jeffries, same side, but tripped up shy of the 30. And Kalispell will bring out the offense, but there's not much time for them. Here is a handoff and a big opening. Jim Jackson with his best carry. And Kalispell's best offensive play is perhaps their most meaningless, as we are just going to halftime with the Warhawks still down 13. They should feel lucky because it could have been a lot worse. Kalispell's 27 game home winning streak is in jeopardy after a terrible first half performance. The offense looks completely lost and they have had no success whatsoever. They do have the football though to begin this second half and they open five wide. Irvin just dumps it off short for Sherrod Edwards who picks up five. That's his first catch all day. This time, three wide plus Maddox as the give goes to Merville. He gets three. They're giving him more carries, but we're not seeing the explosiveness. Jackson checks back in. On third and two, he shows the power as he picks up enough to get Kalispell a new set of downs. From five wide to start the drive, now to two tight ends. Irvin outside. He missed him. Maddox was open. We don't see that from Irvin too often. Here's the tough third down again. Four receivers on the field. Irvin outside. Caught. Coming back for it. Sherrod Edwards. A gain of 12. Massive conversion for Edwards. Now they bring Chambers in motion. Better pocket this time. And again to the sideline. It's Edwards on the opposite side of the field. But the same thing. Good comeback. Now into Auburn territory. Trying to bounce this one. It's Jackson. He gets four. That's a bit better. 11 carries for Jackson. This time they fake it to him. Rolling outside. Nowhere to go. And Irvin wanted to go for it. Now a late flag comes in for pass interference against Auburn. I didn't really see much contact. But it's a first down for Kalispell. I'm not complaining. Merville now slashing his way to the outside. He picks up the first. There's 11. 
Kalispell has finally driven into the red zone. New set of downs for Luke Irvin, and he completes again. Fourth catch on the drive for Sherrod Edwards, a gain of eight. Edwards now heads to the bench. Chambers and Lindsay, the two wideouts. Throwing on third down, complete to Maddox, and it's first in goal, Kalispell. Trailing by 13. Irvin hands this one, cutting inside! Touchdown, Sean Merville! He showed some power there at the end, and this is suddenly a one-score game. Nice drive put together there by Kalispell, but here is Auburn again. Good run here for Kevin Green. He's spun around by Elliott Red. Saw a lot of rushing success in that first half. It's Green again. Good carry. Gain of 10, and Auburn already across their 40. 3-3-5 package for Kalispell. It's a quick throw, the first catch of the game for Amari Jennings, and it doesn't even gain a yard. Here's the chance now for the Kalispell defense, third and six. It's a screen for Kevin Green. He breaks the first tackle, and then making the play is Shannon Somerville, and Auburn's going to have to kick this away. Very good start to this half as Kalispell takes over down six. Here's another catch for Edwards. He breaks the tackle. Edwards, the step back. Now he gets away. Sharon Edwards, he's gone. Kalispell has tied the game. How did he do that? That is the greatest play I've seen from Sharon Edwards. Nobody else could have scored on that. And following a slow start to the season, Last year's offensive MVP, Sherrod Edwards, has helped give Kalispell a third quarter lead. What a game here between Kalispell and Auburn, but we still have a lot of game to go. After the 17-yard connection, rolling outside the pocket, Gant finds Green again, and Auburn's very close to getting right back into Kalispell territory, where they've spent much of this game. Green carries. And he picks up around six, another first down. Auburn trailing by one, a minute 42 on the clock. Here's Green on the screen. Red is blocked out of the play, and Green is shoved out inside the Warhawk 25-yard line. 44 yards receiving for Green. He carries this one, big opening. Inside the 15, he breaks out the stiff arm as it's goal to go again. Well, Kalispell has changed their option approach. Now everything's going to green. And here's what he's doing with it. This time up to the five, a gain of four. Trips to the right for Auburn on second down. Inside give, touchdown, Kevin Green. And Auburn is back in front. They answer the Sherrod Edwards touchdown. And will now go for two, trying to get that seven point lead. Empty backfield for Derek Gantz. Pressure on the way. Gantz goes down. They got him. Marcus Smith on the blitz. Kalispell keeps it a five-point game. But they've got to get another touchdown as the fourth quarter starts. Quick strike. Here's Nick Lindsay on the catch. Gain of 14. Kalispell has found a rhythm here in the second half. They're throwing on first down. Irvin again complete to Lindsay. 14-yard first down catch. This team is adapting well when they get into these tough situations. Jackson now trying to get outside. He breaks the tackle and falls ahead for five. Football at the Kalispell 36. Setting up the screen again. Sean Merville gets a block. Now going to the sideline, shoved out. Another 14-yard catch, the third on this possession. And Kalispell's very close to the red zone again. First and 10, dumped off again, Merville, spinning forward, 12 yards this time, it's goal to go. The pass game is back in sync. Second and goal, to the end zone, touchdown, Sherrod Edwards. He has his first two touchdowns on the season. Again, Kalispell grabs the lead here late in the game. Up one, they're going for two and split out the freshman tight end, Craig Booth. He's been a target of Irvin's this season. Throwing for it, up top for Maddox. He grabs the rebound. I know you thought that was going to Booth, 
That was a pretty sweet call. We have another lead change, everybody. 32-29, here's Auburn. They'll try to answer back like they did last possession. They've gotta get the conversion. Setting up another screen for Kevin Green. He picks up a block, fighting for it, and in comes Shannon Somerville! Callis Bell gets the stop! Check out this hustle play from Shannon Somerville as Callis Bell will get the football. Here's Dehante Jeffries again. Breaks a tackle and finds some open space. Running around defenders up to the 48 yard line. 29 yards on the dynamic return. And here's Callis Spell again. A couple touchdown drives in a row. Irvin lobs it out for Merville. Down the sideline for 24. They've used him as that primary check down option and Auburn forgets all about him. Merville continues to come through with big plays. They flex out Maddox, going up top his way, broken up by Grayson Pollard. Very good play. Auburn does not want to see this become a two score game. Third and five. Pressure on Irvin, flushed outside, he throws incomplete, getting nothing behind the pass. The Warhawks add three, so here is a six point advantage for Kalispell. Gant and the Tigers take over, faking short, and Gant wanted to go deep, but didn't get that extra bit of time he needed. Second and ten. This time just handing it, Kevin Green's hit and stopped by Jermaine Kent. It's third down. Kalispell looking for another stop. They're going to that screen again. Green, does he get the blocks? No, he doesn't. Chased down by Matt Armstrong. It's fourth down. Kalispell with a complete second half turnaround as they take over. It's a six point game and Irvin is chased. His only option is to keep it and pick up five yards. They can add three more points though. It'd be a two score game. Merville the carry and the cutback. Breaks a tackle and falls ahead for 14. Merville once again making an impact. Now Jim Jackson back in. Sweep left, trouble there as he stopped. Loss of two. They are on the edge of field goal range here. Third down and eight. Out of the eye, another run with nowhere for Jackson. He is crushed immediately by Terrence Brown. And that's going to bring out Brandon Hammond. A 52 yard try to make it a two score game. On the way, it's good! Hammond makes it a nine point game and Kalispell may have just put this game out of reach. Auburn down nine, two minutes left. Hammond kicks this off a of Pope on the front line who quickly gets the football. I think Kalispell was trying to recover that and end the game right there. Instead, they give a very short field to Auburn. And Gant sidesteps, fires complete, it's Amari Jennings. Just his second catch all game. We have not seen much from the Auburn passing game, especially here in the second half. First down, what a catch! Jamal Green with the acrobatic play, gain of 13. Auburn trying to get some points quickly. Gant underneath, he's intercepted! Jermaine Kent! Kalispell can put this game away! After a fantastic comeback! They once trailed 20-3 and outscored Auburn the rest of the way, 35-9. They will ice this one with Trey Dunn. And that's it for game four. Another exciting win for Kalispell as they improved to three and one. And they couldn't have done it without the big playability of Sherrod Edwards. We didn't see the big plays from him in the first three games. There were a couple in garbage time against Texas on like tip passes. But today, signature Sherrod Edwards when the team needed it. In the second half, we went to him, and it paid off every time. That first touchdown of his, I know we've seen some great plays from Edwards, but that one ranks number one, especially with that being a game-tying touchdown with the extra point giving us the lead. 
Another takeaway is just, we're finding something here with Sean Merville. He carried the ball eight times today, caught five passes. His speed has been a very valuable asset for the offense. And I've done a good job, I think, of adapting when things go wrong, but I've got to find a way to get things on track earlier in games so we're not in recovery mode all the time. And I think that involving Merville and being smart about it is one of those keys. So against Florida State next time, I want to see us start the game much better. We're going on the road to Tallahassee to face the undefeated Florida State Seminoles. I did not think they would be this highly ranked when the matchup eventually arrived, but here it is. After taking a look at their roster, I think that their offensive line poses some issues for us. Teams have had a lot of rushing success, and our pass rush was largely negated today. Obviously, the second half kind of switched because I made some coaching adjustments to focus on the quarterback for option defense. And it led to more yardage for Green, but I guess it was a little bit more manageable because whenever Gant was getting in the open field, he was just ripping off too many long runs. He was getting huge chunks. But still, he didn't tackle well enough, didn't play good enough run defense. But at least the second half was a lot better for us. We were able to make some changes, and they mostly worked. So we'll see if Kalispell can get another win against Florida State. Should be another good game. I am really enjoying this independent schedule so far. We've had some really intense games and moments. Four games into the year, leave your takeaways so far in the comment section. Where do you think this team is at? What are you mostly surprised about? And what do we have to do better so we don't slip up later in the schedule as we are set to face plenty of great teams? Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Tomorrow, Denver Broncos franchise year 5 debuts. I will see you all then. Hit the notification bell and you'll know exactly when year 5 kicks off. But I will see you all next time. Have a great day.